So in the new Tribes of Midgard survival modes, you have got different saga bosses or ancients, and you still need to access their realms, but you need quest fragments. You need a whole bunch of different types as well. But where'd you get them? Because in saga mode, you used to get these by completing certain things or basically events, but now they're hidden behind the artifact altar and you can't craft the artifact altar until you've got a few things upgraded. So the path to getting it is this, you need to get the lumber stand and you can craft that from your all forge. That lumber stand will then allow you to make the mining stand. You then upgrade the lumber stand to level two using flint, branches, wood and stone. And then you can go ahead and craft the mining stand, which only requires iron and stone. And then you need to upgrade that. You're gonna need more iron, more stone, but you're also gonna need four pieces of silver, which of course you can find in the land of pools in these little nodes. So once you've upgraded the mining stand to level two, you then need to upgrade it to level three. And for that, you're gonna need gold as well as silver, wrought iron and cut stone. It's no problem, cut stone and wrought iron, you can get easily enough by refining using the mining stand. The silver, a bit harder to get, but by now you should have some decent armor to go keep going around the land of pools. The gold is probably one of the hardest things to get hold of. You need to head over to the Smoky Highlands or the desert and look out for underpasses or hideouts. These are not easy to get through. You'll often find high powered wolves or werewolves as well as obviously lots of goblins and trolls. We found the biggest load though in the hideouts with all these nodes here as well. You're supposed to be able to also get gold from killing ravens as well. So that might be a good shout if you can get them before they fly off. And maybe certain traders will sell you gold as well if you find them, but they're usually quite far away. So once you're back and you've upgraded your stone, your mining stands up to level three, then you can go ahead and craft the artifact altar. But you obviously need a bunch of materials for that as well. The aquamarine and the amethyst you'll find both at the beach. Ash beach to be precise and the strand of Agroboda's hair you only get as a drop from killing Agroboda and she is meant to be like the fourth giant in terms of progression in survival mode. So really you're not meant to go and get any of this stuff until you've got close to getting defeat in Agroboda. You shouldn't even be worried about trying to take on any of the others. The progression order is meant to be Jan Saxa, then it's meant to be Hologi, then it's obviously the big ice frost giant and then it's Agroboda as last. Once you defeat her, then you're meant to go and take on the Ancients, the actual saga bosses. So don't worry about getting quest stuff already. If you somehow come across some of the later giants before you've killed Jan Saxa or Hologi, then maybe look into more defeating them first before trying to take on the hardest ones. And again, you may also find some of the traders that sell you sir. That's why it's a good idea if you've got a bunch of souls and you're about to go and do something pretty challenging, you might want to go and buy some of the trader locations from the first trader that's normally pretty close to the tree of life. So there we go, hopefully you found that useful. I'll do more little mini guides like this showing you how to unlock some more of the advanced crafting stations, but basically you won't need to until you've got more of the resources or taken on some more of the giants. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.